All right, good morning. Hello, Knockouts. Tanya TKO here. And I'm really excited to announce that I'm going to be on Fox 5 DC this morning. So if you get a chance to catch that segment, catch that. I actually just got off of the air. So I'm still, I still have on my, my makeup and my early morning sunshine glue. So I just wanted to come out real quick and just announce that for you all. And I'll get the um I'll get the clip for that and post it online so that you all can see. We were talking about um we were talking about dating cuffing season and how to bring in a maid, how to keep the, you know, the person interested, as well as during the dating time, how to create the body language and the interaction to let the person know that you're interested in them. So that is, so that's that. I just wanted to just come out and announce that real quick. So thank you, Kanisha. I appreciate that. I'll bring the segment forward for you all to see. Um, as soon as I, as soon as I'm able to get it, I'll bring it forward for you all to see, but I wanted to come out and just say a quick good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope everything is going well in your respective parts of the world. Good morning. Wait, is today Saturday? Oh, thank you, Joseph. Listen, <laughs> you know, the days go by so quickly nowadays. The days go by so quickly. So good morning, good morning, good morning, Princess. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Tamaris. Is your name Tamaris or Tamaris? Or Tom Tamaris? It could be that too. All right, what's going on? Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Yami Ya, Grand Rising. Everyone, good morning, Kelly. Something's going on with um with, with the broadcast this morning. Oh. All right, there we go. So now we finally have connected into YouTube. Aisha, good morning, good morning, good morning. And Allison is saying these days roll into one. Brenda saying you look beautiful this morning in yellow. Yeah, you know, I decided, I decided to um I decided to wear something nice and bright to be able to um I don't know, brighten up. You know, when I typically do my Tanya TKO videos, I typically do my videos dressed in in my uniform, which is a black long sleeve dress, because um, I, for for far too many women, the message becomes your clothing, the message becomes your makeup, the message becomes your hair, and people spend a lot of time focusing on that. So I said, you know what, I'm going to cut all of that out. I'm going to do my videos primarily without makeup on, and I'm going to wear the same outfit. <laughs> I actually have a few of those dresses, <laughs> but I do, I do, um, I do go about it in a way to just to just make sure that the message is the message, and that people are not. And still, people try to come out, and they try to. It's 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 difficult being a woman people people made notice and made mention of you know years ago how in the tabloids or at the award shows you know they talk about men's merit what men have done and this and the other when it comes to women they talk about what she's wearing how she looked etc so i just i don't i don't i don't feel like playing into that game i don't feel like you know, playing dress up and being people's doll. Like if I'm coming to make a message, I'm making the message for the message's sake. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I um I, I appreciate you all coming out. I just wanted to let you all know that so the muse is saying you're beautiful no matter what you wear. Well, you know, I do think that I do think that when it comes to clothing that um when it comes to clothing that our our clothes send a message etc like if you like you'll notice that um when the pandemic hit you know a lot of our favorites that were on TV started broadcasting from home. And you see what a difference like even so Trevor Noah he has not put on a suit since he stopped broadcasting in the studios of The Daily Show. And there's a different feel, you know, depending on how you present. So I definitely think that clothes do send a message, you know, <laughs> clothes do send a message. And uh, I'm trying to catch some of these. 
And the princess is saying, I wonder where people get feminine clothing from, like in the mall. Um, I think that you have to find your own style of what's feminine for you. Um, yeah, so you you, ha you have to find your own style because feminine looks different for different people. You know, this is my style with the with the square neckline and a a body contouring dress shape. So you know, so that's me. Uh, you have to find out what works for you. And the is saying it's sad, but people respect me a lot more when I'm dressed up. People think I'm a kid if I don't wear makeup or dress up. I look 14 without makeup and I'm 27. Well, listen, if people are trying to hit on you and you're looking 14, this could be an indicative of some much larger issues going on with that birth sign. So Kay is asking, what time will you be on? Um, you know what? Let me check and see what time. It could have been a live segment. Let me check with my publicist and see uh, what time will it air. Because you know, um, you know, when it comes to these morning shows, a lot of them are are straight direct to the to the TV. So if if it if it was live and it already aired, then it happened at seven forty this morning, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> which was right before I did this broadcast. So I guess I could have come out beforehand and been like, oh, catch me live. <laughs> but I'll let you all know beforehand for the next one. This one was, it was booked um, in advance, but it was confirmed really last minute. So I barely had enough time to really jump and get some sleep and then wake up and 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 come out to do this. So Jessica says, I look young as well. I'm 31. I feel as though my husband is out there, but he thinks I'm a baby until I start speaking. Wait, what? Wait, what's going on? What, ha what happened in there? You, you, what? <laughs> okay, so people are talking about Dan Gasby. You know, I need, to, I need to follow up on that situation. There's so many stories that we need to cover. As a matter of fact, while I have my makeup, let me, let me, let me go, let me go um, get some notes together and do a video. But then, you know, I'm going to throw in my uniform for the video and <laughs> take off this yellow frock. <laughs> I, I both hate and love the word frock. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, so Karen saying she's late. There's really no topic. I was just letting you all know that I'm going to be on Fox DC this morning, but I'm going to be in a lot more segments coming up. So if you missed it, that's cool. I'm gonna post the um, I'll post the the clip so that you all can see that, and then um, wear what you want when you dress to impress others. You've already failed. Um, I think that's a little naive. I think that's naive. I think that we are not being realistic. I mean, you could wear, want to wear some sweatpants to a job interview, but we don't know, depending on the job, we don't know if you're going to get it. <laughs> of course, there's, there's a need to dress to impress, especially, you see, you listen, men will say anything. Ladies, don't listen. Don't listen. I remember there was this there was this young lady who was dating this guy, and she used to go get um, highlights and lowlights for her hair. She's Caucasian, and she was dating this guy, and she would get these highlights and lowlights. So you know when you're when when people are when people are when people are young. When, when people who have blonde hair are young, their hair is a lot more blonde. And as they get older, the blonde hair decreases and other colors, you know, start coming up. And so she would get the highlights and the lowlights. And her, her man was like, you don't need to do that. I like you just as you are. You don't need to keep going to the salon. Let that grow out, right? And then she started letting it grow out. And guess what? The spark, there was something about the spark that started to, to vanquish. And 
it was like, cause this was, this was the early stages of dating and there was something about the spark that just started to just fizzle a little bit. Then she went and got them highlights and low lights put back in and boom. So listen, don't, don't listen. Men are a lot more visual than they want to, to let on. They try to be like, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, the, where will you go? The, do, do, do. But then in real life application, ladies, you see and you know, you know, you know. <laughs> and so Valerie said, who said that? You better look the part and shine, make that statement. Uh, uh, uh. Exactly. Exactly. So <laughs> little miss is happy she caught the morning at a show. I'm happy to be here too because <laughs> so pink love wanted to hear my thoughts on Dan and his failed relationship from Becky the help. Was she really the help though? Was she the help or was she sw swooming in? Maybe after, maybe after the, um, the, 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 what do you call that thing that they read after the will was read? Maybe there was a little bit um, less than she thought she was going to be able to siphon from that situation. And maybe she thought, you know, because remember, she was deeply in love with that man who was in prison. Maybe we can talk about that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Good morning. Good morning. The muse is saying, I love dressing up. I even used to dress up to 7-Eleven. We're doing too much now. We're doing too much. We're doing too much. I always lived in big cities and loved putting my best foot forward. And it was mainly for me, apart from dating and my job interviews. Quarantine has taught me to relax when it comes to going to the corner store. However, yeah, cause, cause, uh, let, let all that down. Let all that down. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. It's too much. It's too much. Okay. You know, there. I think that there needs to be a healthy balance. I think that there has to be, there has to be a healthy balance. You know, it's like if we are overly concerned with doing all of this dress up, and we say that it's for us, and it's time consuming, and we gotta get makeup on to go to Seven Eleven. You know, there could be some insecurity or some self love issues going on on the inside that may be unaddressed. You know, if we feel a compulsion, a need, an intense desire, you know, we, we th those are things that we can look into. Those are things we can look into. So Teruko is saying, congratulations. I'm glad I caught the show. I'm here in DC and was so happy when I saw you pop up on my morning news. Okay, so you saw it. So was it live? I guess it was live then. So that means that most of us missed it then. <laughs> we just have to get the replay. We have to get the replay. They called me Tico, to, 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 I think they called me Tico, Tico, Tanya Tico. But you know what? They'll get it right. They got it right the second time they said it. The producer must have whispered in their ear. But the, the people will get it right going forward. You know, this is this is only the beginning. So Teruko caught me. I know people were like, wait a minute, Tanya, got that Fox. Right? And you know what? Being on Fox and learning that there's a Fox Soul section as well. So I'm gonna be on another segment and on Fox Soul. And it made me realize that, you know. There's a lot of manipulation going on with media, the news, et cetera, where we are being positioned to be angry at one another and news outlets posting a very skewed view of our news because as as hideous as, as um, some news programs can be, there's balance on other parts of the channel, on um, other parts of the station. And I wish that we could get more, more balance just all the way around. So Taruko caught it. So Jasmine is saying, can you see our comments? <laughs> Lot of mercy. <laughs> the princess is saying, and I love makeup, but I will definitely try to watch makeup tutorials so I can be better at makeup. I don't know what the first part of it was. Piece of candy is saying, agreed, as a teen, I was so self-conscious that I had to wear eyeliner, a bra, and lip gloss to leave the home. Wait a minute now. We throwing off brassiers now? <laughs> we like, to hell with this. We're taking off the brassiers. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> How funny. 
And Peace is saying, I wore full lace makeup wig to African dance rehearsals, was coming from work at a law firm, but I'd retouch before rehearsal. So you were over there dancing in, in lace fronts and that didn't peel back? <laughs> it didn't peel back? Loud of mercy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So Taruko caught me. So that's great. So you know what? That means the segment was live then. You can never really tell nowadays because it could, you know what I mean? You never, you, can, you can't really tell. You can't really tell. So Jessica is saying, I always need my bra. I know that right, girl. Since the pandemic has come around, it's, it's very rare that I actually wear one. You know, and Dr. Oz says that when you go without, that's when you give your, your chest muscles a chance to, to hold up. But if, they beca if your breasts become lazy and dependent on the bra, that's when they just be like, oh, you got me. And they just, they give up. <laughs> just like poof. But they say when you give the chest muscles a chance to pull them bosom back up. The <laughs> ah, goodness. And Chimitra is saying, I feel that when they put on the news is to keep us angry for manifesting our freedom. You know, there's so many things that it could be. I just, I feel like we're being manipulated. I feel like we're being manipulated. <clears throat> Royston is saying, looking good is nice, but no matter what you look like, it's your soul that will make you attractive or ugly. Child, please. People got to get to know your soul. Don't nobody know the soul of them ladies in the Victoria's Secret catalogs. Don't none of us know they soul, but we know that we see that airbrush smooth skin, that pumped up bousson, them long legs. We know we see that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, goodness, and here we go. Nichelle is saying, we all look forward to taking that bra off when we get home. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Listen, I feel you, dear. I feel you. We got Austria in the house. Pink is saying, I've never had a full, I've never had a full have of makeup like the professionals or tutorials. I wanted it for my birthday one year, but I said, forget it. I'm going nowhere anyways. Oh, uh, well, you know what? If there's something that you want, go, oh, I feel like an eyelash didn't try to jump into my eye. If there's something that you want, go get it. Why deny yourself of something you want? You know, if you want it, go get it done and then go someplace. You know, you can you can go on to um, some of these websites where you can hire freelancers, you can hire a photographer, you can go get your makeup done, you can take photos. If this is something that you're doing for you, do it. I find that all too often we put off. I tell you, um, my mother died with these array of expensive perfumes. There was like this, this perfume that she had gotten in Paris in this little bottle with a bow on it. And she died with that perfume in the bottle full. And I had to take that bottle and wear it. And so, you know, she was like waiting for the special occasion, waiting for the occasion special enough to wear this perfume. And she died and the bottle was full. And so from there on out, when I get a souvenir, I get souvenirs that I can wear or use. I don't get anything that I put up on the shelf. And I, I suggest for people out there who are waiting for some other day, do it now. Do it now. Time is, is the most precious commodity. We don't know when we'll run out of it. So do it now. If you want to get that makeup done you know, I, I mean, take cautions now because of, of, of COVID. However, I suggest that we all do what's in our heart, really, really. All right. <clears throat> and Shirley's saying, you have an accent. Where, where are your family from? My father's from an island called Nevis. My mother was from South Carolina, as I just said. She has passed away, and when she passed away, she had outfits that were unworn, perfume that was unsprayed. You know what, here's a tip that I have for you all. If you have bottles of perfume that is really not your thing, but you still have the bottles of perfume, um, put them in the bathroom and use them as air freshener. That way it gets used. This is, this is something my sister taught me. 
Um, Cause you know, like you, sometimes you, you know how you would get those gifts over the years of perfumes that may not really be your thing. Take them and put them in the bathroom after, you know, and, and freshen up the air with them. It may not be something that you want to put on your body, but spraying it into the air creates a lovely aroma in the air. So that's an expert tip for you all and a way to save money. Listen, you know, they be selling us a lot of repackaging things that we may not need to spend money on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. I all the black AA unite to get her create our own TV station, just as Tyler Perry created his own production studio with investors. Yeah, you know what? I think that that is. I think that's important. I, and I was hoping that the elders before us would have done something like that, but it hasn't been done. So it's definitely something that we may have to look into ourselves. Okay, let's see. Um, I tilted my camera. Another thing is down low. All right. I hope my light is on. I feel like I'd be needing more light. Okay, what else do we have here? What is your view on the media going on about the faces Harris made during the US VP debate? That's a great question. You know what? I um Let's come back and, and discuss current events, okay? Because this video, I just really wanted to announce that I was going to be on Fox this morning. Um, let's let's come back and discuss current events and just have a powwow this morning. I um I want to grab something to drink and replenish myself, and then we'll have a, a. That's definitely something that we need to discuss. Um, Kamala and the and people. Let me ask you a question. And I want you to be real with me. Who is it that you really see going on about her faces? I mean, really, I think we, God. I'm sorry. I'm so you can see that I'm just, I'm terribly annoyed by this. Terribly annoyed. Because I think that we put too much stock in what others have to say about us holding our space and our existence. And one of the things that people who love Trump love is that he doesn't really care. He doesn't care about protocol. He doesn't care about status quo. He doesn't care about any of that. And he does his thing. And I think that for far too many of us, we care too much about what others have to say about us and the space that we hold, how we hold it. And I'm sure that you all can read between the line at the double entendres of what it is that I'm trying to say. So I think that we really need to just stay fast in our in, in our lane, in the space we hold and just love that space and go forward. I hope that answers your question. I hope that answers your question. And Habisha is saying, yeah, she was just fine. Um, Poivre is saying, caution, some perfume can cause cancer. I think that, um, I mean, if you're using it as an air freshener, I mean, spray it and let it d d twingle in the air. I really don't know what to say. I think that we spend a lot of time just worried. You know, just worried for some reason. Tanya saying, I don't wear makeup. I want to try out makeup. I would like to do something different. Do it. If there's something you would like to do. If there's something you like to do. And Connie is saying, I use every perfume on me, never any left. It is one I don't really like. I use it for after shower. I don't know about all of that. If you putting on stuff you don't like, child, what you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> And Tiara is saying that I'm going to be, that Tanya TKO is going to be the meme queen 2021. Her facial expressions be priceless. Yeah, so, you know, as a person who does emote and express a lot through my face, I really don't care what people have to say about my face. We have so much spice. You know that? We have so much spice as who we are, you know? So it's like, just keep, keep your spice because other people who are bland, 
You know who we talking about, the string bean casserole crew. You know they don't, they not ready for that, that, that collard greens with hot sauce. They ain't ready for that. They not ready. If you got your little dried out crunchy onions on top of your string bean casserole, what you gonna know about, you know, about some hot sauce in your collard greens? What you gonna know about that? Stacy is saying our elders were trying to follow through with the in, 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 integration movement. Um, integration? Oh, 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 we're talking about the mixing. This generation has figured out that the oppressor will not yield the same methods as I. Let me get off of this broadcast. You all are getting controversial now. We getting controversial. We need to come back. We need to come back because I am not about to let you all rope me into, into being controversial on the video that I am doing to promote my Fox Five segment on DC. Girls and boys, listen, you ain't gonna get me to start saying some stuff that's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> ah, listen, I'm trying to be discreet. You know, it's hard to be discreet out here in these streets. It's hard. It's hard to be discreet in these streets. All right, let's see. Chimitra is saying, you were really speaking this morning about the now. As you know, we are broadcasting live on several different platforms. We are on Facebook, YouTube, and on Twitter Periscope. So listen, <laughs> you know what? Let's talk about it. You know what? Let me jump over here, take off my yellow frock, and then come back. All right. Make sure that you are, that you got your notifications turned on. You can also make sure that you are on my mailing list, tanyatko.com. Click on subscribe, get on my personal mailing list and you know, my book of affirmation, self-love. You know what? Somebody sent me a message last night and said it was sold out on Amazon, but I'm hoping that they meant other Amazons, not Amazon US. Cause I need to check my stock. Cause a lot of you have been buying. This is, this is the book that changed my life. This is the book that changed my life and got me into abundance. When I was living in my car, I didn't know how I, would, how I would get out of that situation. And those affirmations changed my life. And doing those affirmations continues to bring just amazing things into my life. As you see, I was on Fox 5 DC this morning and there's a lot more to come. The affirmations in that book has attracted a lot of money to me, a lot of a lot of different things. It's given me, it, it gives you the wind beneath your sails to keep pushing forward, to manifest. So it's an amazing book. I, I want everyone to get it. I better get ready for Prime Day. Oh, wow. You know what? I guess I need to. Let me, Um, I need to check on that. But listen, let me, let me jump out. Make sure your notifications are on. We'll come back and we'll talk about Kamala. We'll talk about Dirty Dan. We'll talk about um a few other things that you all want to talk about. All right. So on that note, I will see you all in the next video. Tanya TKO and I'm out. Go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? That's right. Love yourself. Love yourself. And loving yourself is doing things like the self-love affirmations workbook, investing in yourself and knowing that your life is worth it. You are worth investing in. You are worth living your life how you want to live and really manifesting all of the things that you want to manifest in this life, not waiting not waiting until you're old and gray and you're like, oh, I wish I, no, do it now. All right, so on that note, I will see you all in the next video. I'll say goodbye to the first 20 people who bid me adieu. Taylor wants to get an autographed copy of the book, which is not possible at this time because Amazon has all of the stock. So <clears throat> Derek is saying affirmation has definitely elevated my spirit and my faith in self, or should I say my faith in nature? Okay. All right. So, okay, Miss Kepper, or is it Keeper, Keffer, have a great day. Anza, have a great day. Ching Lee, have a great day. Chimitra, thank you for stopping by. Dominique, have a great day. Stacy Shea, have a great day. What is it, please? It's the link is in the description of the video. It's and it's on Amazon. It's the book of affirmation, self-love. Search on Amazon for the name Tanya TKO. You'll see the book there. Get it. Read the reviews and get it. All right. Imahe, have a great day. Tiara Lee, have a great day. Tam Tam, have a great day. Minnie, have a great day. Charlotte, have a great day. 
It is supposed to be available in UK Amazon, but I've been hearing people in the UK say that the UK stock has run out. So I'm going to jump on, on, on them as well. You know what? I told this young lady to send me a message. Let me write a note to myself right now. Let me write a note to myself right now. Ah! What I don't want is I don't want any ink on my yellow dress, you know? So UK Amazon, I need to talk to them and I need to check on US Amazon stock. Cause I need to make sure that the book is in stock for people to get. All right, so have a great day, Crystal, Kenton, Habisha, Alicia, Habisha, Alicia, Risha, Keisha, oh, all right. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next broadcast. Peace.